Alright, Fargo family, we ain't gonna waste no time with this video, man. Your boy said the next thing that I was gonna do was go live. No more pre recorded, but man, do you know how much time and effort and Wi Fi you have to use to go hard? Yeah, so I always said if I ever got my own truck, what I wanted, gonna go ahead and get me some of these old ostrich boots. And as y'all know, y'all seen that old C15. Gonna post a 12.7, but man, that thing was ragu D. I mean, like garbage can type uh, scrap metal material, dog. So, <laughs> let's get into it, y'all. We dropping bombs over Baghdad around here. Is this a long way? Is this you? Is this what this is? I don't know, man. Today, D-Day, though. Been messing with this truck for about two, three days in Chicago. Yeah. So, if this is it, oh, you know y'all gonna get that old content. This is cash truck material. We ain't doing no more leasing, dog. We done with that leasing stuff. Done put a bad taste in your boy mouth understand me I was never one to use my credit or take anything out the finances out the bank and I'm glad I held out till then but that last company that I was at they pushed your boy to the edge non-type Lincoln Park well no this may be Lincoln Park material you understand me ah! oh, lord my throat but yeah 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 man this is what it is this is the first pick of everything Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the new cash truck journey. Y'all. Yeah, it's a little bit of the inside twin double O bunk. Outside door open right there. Uh, wood on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, got that old cattle guard on there. But if we decide to take this monster, we're going to take that off. Uh, I think them stacks of cement stacks are straight piped. You know, not too bad. Now this is the second day Fargo family when uh, that's not that old for me. Like I say, just parked at the little uh, staging area they got over here. Now see that seal right there, I wiped it off. So that's why it looks so real glistened. I wiped it off yesterday uh, when I came back. You know, the motor's not started right now, so it's just a cold situation right now. Uh, just doing what I would do if I was driving it already normal uh, pre-trip. It's holding radiator fluid right now. Uh, that's what all that white stuff is on the motor was a radiator fluid. So it had a leak, you know, uh, but we're trying to see. It's the very bottom at the bottom down there, you know. Still got to get that fixed, you know what I'm saying. But I can deal with those things as long as it's not major motor, trans, uh, clutch, things of that nature, you know. Uh, one major breakdown could be your worst breakdown when you uh, searching for a cash truck and to get a cash truck. I just threw some of these things in here, you know. Uh, this is some of the pictures the owner had, and I had, you know, a what could go in the doors and stuff. But as y'all will see, you know, uh, the owner that owned this truck, he was pretty much only driving at 150 miles a day, uh, going back and forth to Amazon. You know what I'm saying? So. 
this is pictures of me and Kenny Wayne trying to figure out this. Uh, big shout out to you, Kenny Wayne, baby. I see you, y'all. You know, saying on my mama. You understand me? Yeah, <laughs> put that on my stepdaddy too. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, trying to figure out what model this cat is. C15, Acer, 16 z 3604B. Uh, you know, it could be a C15 Long Way Fargo. You know what I'm saying? So, just don't know. But we doing our due diligence, doing everything that we can do. Uh, to solidify, I mean, I'm talking about me and Kenny Wayne. We be on the phone like seven miles. He yawning, I'm yawning, and we yawning together. We tied, but we both got the love of these motors out here. So that's what keep us going. I appreciate you, Kenny Wayne. You know what I'm saying? So uh, these are some of the things that come out. That's a piece of the flex tube right there. Flex tube is rotted out. Uh, Kenny Wayne noticed noticed the rush right there, but we can get some stuff to get that done. Sand the frame down like he painted his frame on his truck. You know what I'm saying? And I was I was showing him this right here. Uh, how it peeled off so it wasn't you know nothing that was uh catastrophic to the frame uh weakening the frame or anything you know what i'm saying so but yeah you know uh that's what we're doing right now man like i say uh, y'all getting this video today uh and we're gonna be able to know today if we're gonna get this truck or not and you seen that last slack adjuster right there i mean leaf spring uh it's clean the other one has a lot of grit and grime on it and per the mechanic that came out to check the truck out also with me popped the top on it that little head right there he found he found that bolt was loose so he took that off right there that's the blow by two running down the side of the motor coming out the breather up top down there and they said that's why that motor is the driver side of the motor is so dirty with greases because that blow by tube is always throwing combustion up on top of that and you see where this truck came from werner enterprises you see what i'm saying uh, these are two brackets on the uh, radiator that's cracked, you know what I'm saying? But the other ones, top and bottom, left and side are good, you know. Uh, but this is a Warner truck, and Kenny Wayne, once he's seen the truck, he's like, dog, I think that's a Warner truck, man. You know, there's, there it is again, you know, location, Warner Enterprises, alignment record, you know what I'm saying? No lights on on the dash, you know, uh, she's up in Ireland, you know, fuel, you know, so yeah get back with y'all and uh, keep y'all updated and this is a little bit about the motor. Y'all!
Thank you.